On to our special report of the night. Listen to this. Investigations into the stampede that led to the death of 15 children at the Kakamega Primary School two weeks ago is still ongoing, with 38 students set aside to record their statements. Now, many parents at the school are now struggling to adjust to life without their children or the trauma of those who survived. In our special report tonight, Primary Pain, our very own Raquel Muigai returns to Kakamega to find additional clues to the tragedy and agony of those dealing with its aftermath. It was the first ever incident at the Kakamega Primary School. A stampede that killed 15 children, erasing their lives from the lips of the earth. Who was responsible? What happened? Was anyone negligent and why? Six feet deep are hopes and dreams buried. Nicole Achola was barely 11 years of age at the time of her death on the 3rd of February this year. And as fresh as her grave is, so are her memories. Her family yet to understand how exactly they got here. She was so cheeky, never quiet. She never knew how to keep secrets. You will never go sleep in front of her. Kim Tuma, atakama misahau. Ati venye ukituma mtoto mara mbili tatu mtoto na na complain wengine na kunjia uso Nicole ata The death of Nicole Achola the second born child to Dalmas Kalusi and Belva Kahi has left them with no words to explain her absence to Nicole's younger sibling 4 year old Riyad Sahil They were so tight mpaka sometimes anakula kama anakula chips ana bakisha anasema hii nimewachia Nicole akikuja kutoka shule atakula hata kuna kuna soda iko hapo alikataa kunywa wanataka nikola mfungulie sisi alikataa tusimfungulie tukitoa nikola mogu wenye watu walikuwa analia anaambia nyama zeni nikola analala achini kupigia nikola kelele analala anaanza na nikola sasa kwa wapi naambia kuhusi bado sasa shule kumchukua siku gani kaambia tutamchukua tu hosi ameenda ni mbali tutamchukua tu usijali Nicole was a class 5 student at the Kakamega Primary School, her elder brother Wayne being in class 6. But following the incident, Wayne has refused to return to the school. Aliniambia kitu jana. Baba tena unataka nirudi hiyo shule. Akimisi rudi hiyo shule baba. And uh, I felt it. Nikamwambia sawa. Wacha by Monday na kutafutia shule nyingine. Even though Dalmas laid to rest his first daughter, the narrations he got from those who were there before continue to haunt him. He believes his daughter died a very painful death. By that time he was alone, peke yake. No teachers, no other parents. Alikuwa anajaribu kupul, anatoka na sweta ya mtoto. Anajaribu kupul, anatoka na short ya mtoto. Patrick Asava was among the first two people at the school on that Monday evening, he says. As a motorbike rider, he had gone to pick up his children from the school. He pulled Nicole's body from the scene. Nicole na wanafunzi wengine tayari wameshakufa. The time naambia mwalimu mtu atamekufa, mwalimu anasema sema hivyo. Mwalimu mwalimu tayari macho yanaanza kutoka. Naambia huyo huyo hata hata tukibeba huyu hawa hawa wamekufa. Mimi niliona pale kama mimi nimekufa tayari. Ulikuwa kumi tayari. Yaani nilikuwa nabeba tukijua tu huyu ni maiti sababu alikuwa amekanyoga wengine walikuwa wanatoa pofu yaani mtu amekufa lakini ametoa anatoa pofu Kaka Mega Primary School first opened its doors to pupils back in the 1940s then it was purely for Asian children decades later it has risen to become an important public school in Kakamega County owing to its impressive performance in the national examination and with a population of 3,113 students, a new block was urgent. A three-story building, the same block where death knocked on the right-hand side staircase. This was to be the last staircase the learners took as they exited this building. However, all hell broke loose at this particular point I'm standing, and the students piled up on each other, a majority of them being class 5 students. And as our sources tell us, the pile was up until this point 
This happened as the children were leaving for home at around 4.30 p.m. Jack, not his real name, is lucky to be alive, given that he was among the last children to be rescued from the bottom of the pileup. He had just moved into the school when the term began and had little information about the boy who tripped him on the staircase. Jack's classroom sits on the first floor of the building where the other seven streams of grade 5 are located together with the only grade 4 classroom on that building. Each classroom on average has a population of about 60 pupils. According to the deputy head teacher Vincent Tibisi, a mechanism was already in place to reduce the possibility of such an occurrence. We have instructed our teachers to be releasing them at an interval of 10, 5 minutes because there are many so that they can be able to use the exits, those are the staircases, without congestion. But um, the information we have is that uh, we have learners who are, who are mopping the, the, the staircases and they decided to block their friends from using one exit. However, from those who witnessed the incident on that day, that system was not operational. The teachers were at the time conducting a meeting in the hall located at the top floor of the building. Kufatana saudi za watoto, hizo tokeza pale, ambazo zesa kawaida, ilitubidi, tusonge kuona ni nini naendelea. Has mbila shaka tukaona, hii keleri nazidiwa, tukaamua kuruka fence. Emmanuel Ohanga works as a chef at the nearby school, Muslim Secondary, which shares a fence with Kakamega Primary School. Pahali sisi kutoka kwa shule hadi kuolu, pahali kwa kwa fence, kufikia shuleni. Walimu, walikuwa hawajafikia. Sikuwa amba walikuwa meeting. Sasa tukashindo kujua meeting. Hii kelele yote, hau kuweza kusikia kelele ya watoto. Hata kama ndiyo, ni wakati wa kuenda nyumbani. Lakini hii kelele, sababu hii kelele, those who survived speak of a tripping game that went awfully wrong. Out of the 15 children that died, five were from five white. The others were spread across the other streams. To make sure that these spaces do not bring bad memories or memories of the departed soul to those who are there, we make sure that we rearrange the sitting plan of the class so that uh, where they were sitting, either somebody else occupies the space or people who are sitting there are totally different. <laughs> Salma Bilal was the latest fatality. The class 5 pupil died after being released from the intensive care unit at the Kakamega General Referral Hospital where she was admitted for one week. <laughs> Since then, Zaitun Bilal's health has deteriorated. She can't utter a word nor leave the house. Her life has changed. Her situation being also felt by Jack's parents who now have to adjust their lives to their son's injuries. <laughs> Anaongea kidoko, ananyamasa, anaongea na ruka ruka, anaongea kama anasimama tena, ni kama kila sinapotea. Kijana, can total do nothing for now. Nakuna kito na safanyi kwa sasa. Minama isa kainama kawakota kitu kwa kiko chini, wakati mgeza pata na liyo mgongo. Amekua mtuto mzuru wa kuelesea, aditea ni akiwa, akiwa, kila wakati mtakua muna cheka kwa hadithisaka ambaso anawapa. Saisi ametulia tu yaka ni kuangalia, haujia nafikiria nini. Jack can no longer carry his school bag nor walk to school as he used to. He has been complaining of back pain and persistent headache. He had been rushed to hospital a day after the incident, his scans indicating that his brain had slightly swollen. His mother, however, says the doctor advised complete bed rest and she opted to have him home for that. Because the learners have also been affected 
the um, rate of absorption of the content is also uh, affected. So we are even worried. We don't know if uh, this thing will end and they get over it so that we can um, we can realize what we wanted. Sources close to the investigations have revealed that 38 students are set to record their statements with the investigators. However, it has not been an easy task given that the officers have to warm themselves up to the children. Moreover, a report from the Public Works and National Construction Authority, as well as the Teachers Service Commission, who are investigating if there was any negligence, is also expected to be part of the final report submitted to the Ministry of Education. <laughs> ni sisi wasasi tuweke nidhamu kwa watoto wetu kwa sababu hii jambo lililotokea sio jambo la kusema ni mwalimu hawa watoto wamekuwa kusoma kwenye ile shule ni mchezo mbaya watoto ambaye nitakana watoto waelekezwe kuanzia nyumbani ili hata walimu wakiongezea sisi wasasi kwa tumekasia watoto wetu at the moment, the school has now separated the exit points by gender, having boys and girls use different exits, with teachers ensuring that they all move in a line. But for those whose lives have changed, nothing is that orderly anymore, as they deal with the primary pain one day at a time. Raquel Mugai, Citizen TV.